This is Jolyn, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the last Thursday check-in of the year. I am back in Santa Monica just for six days and the weather is really bad right now. Before we left for Las Vegas, I did a whole clean with me and you'll eventually see it on a Monday upload. And my grandma and I did a lot in front of the house. All of the plants are off of the ground in front of the house, which makes me really happy. And then we geared up for the rain. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know how I get with the rain. I'll try to cover my plants as much as I can in the front of the house with plastic. I brought all of my sense of areas that are in my patio inside of my home. And it's still in my home because as I'm speaking right now, it is back to pouring rain and it's going to rain all day today and tomorrow. And so I'm really stressed out with the collection because that is a lot of rain and it's just part of my living situation with having my plants outside. Although I don't have to worry about the harsh weather conditions like the desert heat or snow during the winter, when it comes to these rainy days, the plants, if you guys are familiar with plants, can be very fussy if they are overwatered. So hopefully the collection will be okay and we'll find out in the next couple of weeks how they deal with the rain. And I am back in California pretty much to just teach for the rest of the year and I do want to share with you what I got from my Patreon plant friend Sonia. She gave me a plant that's a landscaping plant. I'm not very familiar with landscaping plants. Landscaping plants is that they attract little creatures that I love so much seeing from hummingbirds to bees to butterflies. So I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with the Depending plant. Depending on the zone, I would like to, if possible, take it to the Las Vegas back patio and maybe it can live there versus Santa Monica. So if anybody knows any information on the plant that's familiar with landscaping plants, uh, comment down below. It's a gorgeous plant. So thank you Sonia so much for thinking of me during the holiday season. And also I wanted to share with you Kira's collection. And I did a gift exchange with her after Christmas and it was very nice to see her and exchange gifts for Pepper and Ebby. They had a blast seeing each other. They haven't seen each other in a while. And I share with you just a brief overview of her collection. So let's go to those two clips before Las Vegas and at the end of my Las Vegas time and then we'll come back here to wrap up the video. Thank you for stopping by and it's nice to have different types of plants and I, if I could, I would totally plant this in the ground and I would have a fountain and a bird feeder so that all the animals in my neighborhood could come, you know, but they just know the fountain. But thank you so much. I think this is gonna bring butterflies and probably bees. So if yes. anybody knows anything about this plant, uh, comment down below um, but definitely it's a different side of plant life but I don't mind incorporating other plants into the collection um, but this is definitely one of those plants where if you had a yard you would definitely want to plant it in we'll see. you know we'll see how I plant this up and uh, thank you so much Sonia and happy planting oh here we are before we start Thursday's check-in I just wanted to give you guys a just little brief plant hello from Las Vegas where at Kira's and she's been maintaining her collection pretty well with her new job and training of her not being home but I thought you guys would want to see what her space looks like as we wrap up our plant year. Kira, what's your plans for your plant year, for your upcoming plant year? Um, hopefully have more time to take care of them because I've been so busy with um, I got a new job and training and everything so they've been neglected. So hopefully have more time to take care of them and, you know, trim them up and take them clean. Any plans on getting more plants no. in the upcoming year? Just maintain I what you have? Maintain what I have and if I see something, uh, But right now I'm just maintaining what I have and taking care of them. Spending more time, hopefully. So there you go, a little quick update of Kira's collection in Las Vegas. Hope you guys enjoy seeing what the collection looks like for end of the year 2021. And then maybe in a couple of months, we can stop by here for another Thursday check-in and see how Kira's doing with the collection. Also, 
you don't have any really any plants in the backyard anymore. No. So things have changed. Yeah, the weather and everything, the wind. Vegas has a lot of high winds to keep up with them because the winds are horrible. Hope you guys enjoy seeing Kira's collection wrapping up the plant year. And this is definitely something I would love to do as far as for displaying plants if I had a big house. Unfortunately, I live in a small studio. So hope you guys found a little inspiration with her collection and give this Thursday check-in, the last Thursday check-in of the year, a thumbs up uh, for stopping by in Las Vegas at Kira's place. Happy planting and uh, lots, of, lots of green growth for Kira's collection in the upcoming so year. A little highlight of what's been going on with me wrapping up the month and back from Las Vegas a day and a half by myself grandma and Evie is back in Las Vegas and I got my booster shot yesterday so I don't know if it has anything to do with that but I'm just feeling a little like I just want to be in my pajamas and edit and not be in front of a camera plus it's pouring rain outside everything is wet it's cold so I definitely want to just take advantage of this downtime and edit for both of the channels although I'm not sharing a lot of content in today's video you guys know how much I love to share where I am every week no matter where I am around the world and as much as possible I'll share with you any plant related things going on in my plant life and sometimes it just happens where that week that I film a Thursday check-in there's nothing plant related going on and I know I wanted to share with you a few plants to wrap up the year of plants that have been giving me problems but I think what would be interesting is maybe do one plant every Thursday check-in to share with you the plants that are struggling with my lifestyle and maybe where it is in my part of the world maybe it just doesn't like living in its environment or where I have it placed I think that might be a little bit more interesting instead of gathering a whole bunch of plants so if I'm in Santa Monica I will try my best to share with you one plant that is currently struggling in the collection and at least you can see maybe three plants a month maybe that is struggling for me if there's anything happening in the collection sound off in the comments down below if you would love that i'm not here every thursday in santa monica uh, so we'll see how often i am here to check in in santa monica on a thursday so i want to share with you what I came home to traveling from Hawaii and you guys know if you watch the vlog channel I was just in Spain and Greece and a handful of plants did not like me traveling and I'm going to share with you one of them this is the current status of my Birkin I have two and one was actually living in my Las Vegas collection it was not happy living in that living environment and I totally understand so all of my house plants for the most part if I did have any in Las Vegas are now back in Santa Monica a majority of the collection in Las Vegas is Sensivarius, Cacti and Succulents and next week Thursday I'll check in from Las Vegas and I can share with you maybe five plants that are doing really good for me since I transitioned them into the Las Vegas collective because they love that environment so my question is what do you think I should do with this Birkin I think I'm going to take it out of this planter it was living here in my bathroom and apparently it did not like the living conditions in this bathroom the humidity here without my humidifier runs around 75 80 so it's like perfect condition for finicky house plants um, and other than that it's not like getting overwatered or anything so I don't know what happened to this plant but it definitely did not like me traveling and maybe you know it could have been also I haven't had the plant for too long so maybe it was maybe the grower who knows you know I don't know I did get this at a nursery um, in Southern California with a bunch of other plants that were not house plants they were cacti and succulents if you guys remember uh, last big plant haul in Southern California this was one of the plants so my my plan for this is basically to take it out of this planter put it back in a nursery planter put it in the greenhouse and wish it luck now that this is my second Birkin I have to see what my first one is looking like it's in my patio I'm not too sure but if both of them are looking really sad guys 
I'm gonna be done with the Birkin because I don't think I would want to purchase it for the third time. I'm not too sure. I did see this plant in Hawaii looking fabulous at a nursery, but the living conditions there is so different if you're not living in a tropical environment. So we'll see because a lot of my philodendrons are doing good, but this one, not, not so good. So it's kind of interesting, you know, because I have other philodendrons in the bathroom that are doing really well, like right next to it, but this one was just not happy. So that is my plant drama of the Interesting week. to share with you one plant that is struggling in the collection if I'm here in Santa Monica filming Thursday's check-in. You know, with hundreds and hundreds of plants, I don't get upset now if something happens to a certain plant, especially the rare ones. Um, I like right now I'm sitting next to my Thai constellation and the browning tips really bother me but yet the elbow is doing really good like very nearby i just i try to not beat myself up about that and i hope that's something that you consider when something like that happens with your collection whether you have a few plants or hundreds of plants like me i think in the beginning years ago if something happened to a plant it would really really bother me and then now i'm like you know what i can't get mad at myself i have hundreds and hundreds of plants I'm traveling a lot and I'm not really home because of my many careers and if a few plants here and there are not happy with my lifestyle but the rest are doing good then that's good enough for me and either I can repurchase a plant which you guys know I've done that in the past or just say okay then that is like my first and last time trying to incorporate that plant in my collection and maybe just admire it at a plant nursery when you go plant shopping but we'll see if i ever repurchase the birkin and we'll see what it does for me living in the greenhouse i just it's unfortunate but it is what it is so let's talk about this coming week i will be just pretty much teaching in the studio i'm going to be subbing and i am going to be editing i have not been really at home as much this past december to edit and i'm trying to get all these videos up for you guys so you continue to have daily uploads on both channels uh, with that being said i will be continuing to do my regular daily uploads the same that i did this year for next year so that will remain the same the shop did take a two week break from doing any pop-ups and i think i definitely needed that with my hands and my arm and I will be doing my first pop-up of the year at Melrose and that's this Sunday from 9 to 5. It'll just be me because Grandma and Ebby is in Las Vegas. So that is where you can find me if you're in Southern California and would like to come meet me, see the shop and all of the goods. And I will be back in Las Vegas next week for the work week. And as always, if you're interested in any of my handmade work, from large to small or any of grandma's handmade goods she is also sewing right now in las vegas for this shop reach out to me on instagram planting with julian jewel of hawaii and i would be more than happy to ship anywhere around the world or where i see myself with my plant life i would love to maintain the collection of course in the upcoming year i'm still gonna continue to do everything that i did this year next year so i will still be in las vegas twice a month for work i'll still be traveling for the vlog channel for travel with you Lynn, and i'm still going to be doing pop-ups with my shop so it is a very busy schedule between dancing teaching pilates uh, in person and virtually and doing the pop-ups with my small business creating art and then filming for the vlog channel so it's a lot you guys know if you watch the vlog channel that i really do all these things and i do it kind of all simultaneously but it works for me and i've been doing it for a while and I'm going to continue to do that next year. So we'll see because you will eventually see a big Christmas end of the year plant haul. And you will have one more Hawaii upload this coming Monday. And then we'll go back to California content. And eventually you'll see the plant haul that I got for end of the year to treat myself and the channel for Christmas. And that was a very big investment for me. There was a few high ticket price plants that I got. And I wasn't expecting to add more plants to the collection, but I feel like I deserve it because I worked really hard this year and I wanted some new plants for the channel. So you'll see that eventually. Now, I know prior to the lockdown, at one point I was plant shopping every week. And it's nice that I have two collections and a lot of um, indoor outdoor space in my small Santa Monica studio. 
but we'll see how much plant shopping I am going to be doing in the upcoming year and I think it has to do with me not really being at I home in Santa Monica I'm more than likely just editing teaching and then creating art and doing pop-ups so it doesn't leave me a lot of time to say hey let me go to a plant nursery and plant shop and do a haul so I will probably incorporate definitely more plants in my collection in the summer for my birthday as far as like a big big plant haul I'll probably treat myself to a birthday plant now which birthday plant I don't know because you'll see in my end of the year Christmas plant haul the plants that I got was never on my wish list and it was plants I've never even maybe seen before and I just seen it I fell in love with it and I bought it so sometimes that happens because I know at one point I used to have a wish list and I would you know try to get something off of my wish list to treat myself but it's kind of interesting where I just went into a plant nursery and then I ended up just picking random plants for my Christmas plant haul sound off in the comments down below if that happens to you that you uh, treat yourself to a plant that you never knew existed and you just seen it and you decided to invest in it or do you save up for one of your wish list plants i think i have a balance of both too but it was just kind of interesting to see the christmas plant haul with all the plants that i purchased that was not even on my wish list or that i really didn't know about so uh, stick around for that but we'll see what the collection looks like over the next few months because I am going to be traveling and I'll share with you next week Thursday when I'm in Las Vegas where I am going in the next couple of weeks so comment down below give me some guesses I'm going to be going to two countries in a couple of weeks and I'm going to have to start doing some travel homework and planning my itinerary that's one of my favorite things to do for solo travel and I will announce that next week Thursday from Las Vegas where I will be going and it'll be very fun to do another solo adventure for Travel with Julin and vlog all of my adventures. So if you haven't watched the vlog channel, check it out. I went to Tanzania, Spain, and Greece in the last, I want to say, third of this year. So I did a lot of traveling with my crazy schedule. I still made it happen because that is my, my favorite thing to do to treat myself for all of the hard work that That's I do. kind of where I am right now with my small business. I will be doing a few pop-ups this month. Um, not so much in February because I am going to be traveling. Uh, but I will announce on a weekly basis where you can find me. But this coming Sunday, you can find me at Melrose. Actually, I'm very proud of myself for the amount of content I was able to still film and share on this channel regardless of my crazy work schedule and traveling abroad for the vlog channel so hopefully you guys enjoyed all of the content that i was able to produce this year on both channels and i am slowly trying to get through november vlogs on the vlog channel so you can see travel with you in hawaii going back home to hawaii with the shop and seeing what I did this month between California, Hawaii, and Las Vegas. So if you guys remember, last week Thursday, I talked about waking up with arm pain after my last pop-up. So since then, and that has been now a week and a half since I woke up with this pain, I've been having numb hands. When I got back to Santa Monica yesterday, I pretty much it was like a self-care slash YouTube day. Uh, where I finally had a day off from teaching, dancing, and any pop-ups. So I've seen two healthcare professionals, and I don't want to share too much, but I do want to share with you guys what's going on with me because you guys watch me every day between both of the channels. So I kind of want to keep you guys a little updated with what's going on with me just in case I maybe seem under the weather or maybe I don't upload a video. I'm going to try my best to maintain doing daily uploads. So I got seen by two healthcare professionals yesterday, one in person for a female related problem. And unfortunately, when it comes to getting referred out to do certain tests, sometimes it's a long time to actually get in. And that's the case with me. And working in two states can also be a little tricky. So I have to wait two weeks to do some testing. And then it will take two weeks for the results to come back. So just keep me in your thoughts and prayers and I am staying positive and praying that everything will be okay. And as far as for my arm, I talked about it in last week Thursday's check-in. I got a virtual appointment yesterday with a doctor in my neighborhood. 
and from all of my symptoms he pretty much told me and my mom even said this that i have carpal tunnel and i knew that was an issue because when i was working at the gym and i was doing trades with a kickboxer i used to hit the bag and then like later on in the week i would have shooting pain in my hand and i came to realize like okay maybe it's carpal tunnel because i do a lot of things with my hands it's very common for waitresses secretaries people who use their hands on a daily basis for work it is very common to get carpal tunnel so i have to do a lot of resting which is very hard for somebody who uses their hands for everything i do for work when it comes to youtube i'm editing every day so that's basically typing on a computer which is the worst for carpal tunnel or definitely uh you know one reason why how i probably ended up where i am, am right now and also like playing my finger symbols for work i'm also you know using my hands and everything when i'm dancing so that's another thing and then with my small business i'm creating art you guys see that all the time and then i'm lifting my shop in and out of my car setting it up at the markets and i think from doing five pop-ups to wrap up the year and the holiday season i woke up the next morning monday morning with shooting pain in my forearm and ever since then i am waking up with numb hands so we're going to try step one which is wearing braces on my wrist and hands so the carpal tunnel brace where i'm going to be sleeping with them at night and hopefully that will help if and then i'll just take nsaids for pain we'll see how that goes um i am gonna do a follow-up in a month another virtual follow-up to see how i am doing with my arm pain and my numbness in my hands um so comment down below if any of you guys are living with carpal tunnel and how bad is it and i'm gonna try my best as much as possible to take care of my hands and arm because you guys know this is like everything i do is with these hands you guys see me at home vlogging with my wrist guards on you guys know the reason why i have them on i don't know if i want to walk outside of the house with them but definitely maybe like when i'm driving in my long commute and while i'm at home editing and sleeping i will definitely wear them and they're coming in the mail tomorrow I'm trying to not have this be so extreme where i need to get an injection or surgery Definitely so. everything i do for work and then like working out you know i'm doing push-ups you guys see on the vlog i'm always on my hands so like yoga and all of that um all of those things i think just added fuel to the fire if that makes sense so i'm gonna try my best to take care of my health this Within year the next couple of weeks i'm just gonna focus on taking care of myself I would like to film Pot of Fame before the month ends because I wasn't able to film for November because I was in Hawaii and Las Vegas. I just film that to wrap up the year. And other than that, I'm just going to be editing. I have a lot of content to share with you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy the future videos and have been enjoying the year of daily uploads. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Please keep me in your thoughts and prayers. Also, thank you to Grandma for helping me with the collection and all the handmade goods she's making for the shop and i look forward to another year for plants and pop-ups and adventure and comment down below what was your favorite video of the year if you guys maybe can scroll to the channel videos and let me know what was your favorite video of the year on the main channel I would love to know that'd be really awesome and i will try my best to get the collection into like as much as possible film ready so i did do a, a plant tour in the front of the house as soon as we cleaned up the space because i knew it was going to get trashed from the weather and the trees so you'll eventually see that on a monday upload week and a half i'll be back in santa monica with grandma and ebby and then we are going to gear the patio up uh, we're gonna do a clean with me reorganize the plants and film a plant tour Next plant tour i will probably do the bathroom and then eventually the studio so i will film these in the next seven weeks whenever i have pockets of time when i'm here and eventually you will see it on a monday check-in but that is my goal for the collection and the channel before i travel abroad again so that is going to wrap up today's video please keep me in your thoughts and prayers and 
I want to continue to keep using my hands so let's see how the braces work for me and I will be taking NSAIDs for pain and hopefully everything will be okay I am praying and staying positive so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me comment down below if you guys are doing anything for the end of the year if you are celebrating I'm gonna be in the studio teaching both Friday and Saturday morning so New Year's Eve and New Year's Day I am gonna be teaching for several hours each day really early in the morning so I will be just staying at home sleeping early hanging out with the plants and just kind of having just some alone time because i'm always out and about uh, traveling dancing pop-ups so it's nice to just kind of be at home and teach and do all of my youtube work from santa monica so that is gonna wrap up today's video thank you guys so much for hanging out with me another plant year has came and gone i'm not gonna be too hard on myself and i hope you guys can also feel the same way too if you had some plant traumas this year because i'm very proud of how far the collection has come and maintained sort of well i pretty much was not really with the collection this Sometimes year that happens where things are out of control and your lifestyle change but i'm not gonna get mad at my plants for being upset with that i'm still happy that majority of the collection is doing good and i'm going to look at the positive side so rest in peace to all of the plants that didn't make it this year with my crazy schedule and i'm looking forward for another plant year and sharing my plant life with you here on the main channel and comment down below if what are you looking forward to in the upcoming plant year is there any kind of plant projects that you guys are planning on working on for the new year anything you would like to add as far as for how you are styling your plants in your space because the switch up that i did in front of the house is like oh my goodness it looks so nice and the plants like off of the ground like it just looks so nice and i can't wait to share with you uh, the plant tour because it it just looks so much better so I'll do that for the front of the house and we'll see what i can do for the patio when i'm back in a week and a half as far as for trying to get the plants off of the ground is like my main concern with the trash from the tree so that's gonna wrap up the video i want to wish you a happy new year haole makahiki ho happy planting i wish you nothing but the best in the upcoming plant year if you're new welcome to the channel subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel and the vlog channel you get a video each and every day i'm signing off from santa monica california here in the bathroom aloha